Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. So Peach had the internet rocking this weekend. So baby, let's talk about it, all right? It was just a rocking from a post she made in her community post, which today she's turned into a short so that she can make more money off of it. So come on, guys. Let's talk about it, okay? So she's at Publix, Target, Sam's Club, whatever it may be. I think she said Publix, okay? She's at Publix, and she claims that she sees some guy walking out with some girl. The girl didn't want to hold his hand. The girl was yelling, no, you're going to get me in trouble. And she says that it was, you know, a situation that made her feel uneasy. It just hurt her heart. It just made her feel like something was not right. It was not right enough for her to take a video of it make a screenshot of it and post it right that's how wrong it was in her heart of hearts you know down in her soul that's how bad it was but it wasn't bad enough for her to stop and say something right now before we get too deep in i just want to say something a few years back my son is 17 now he was probably about six or seven a neighborhood park that we always go to it was a little girl that I've seen there play all the time, right? It was this day, just happened to be some guy there with her. And he was telling her, come on, and she was screaming no. And I had never seen the guy there with her. I've always seen her with her mother. What do I do? I say something to him. And I don't say it rude. I just say, hey, is everything okay? You know, I've seen her here playing. You know, hi, my name is such and such. How are your day? You know, yada, yada, nothing too bad. When I tell you he cussed me out for filth, y'all, he cussed me out for filth. He let me know that black men were fathers and they do spend time with their children. He called me a few names and I just sat there and I took it because, yes, I did get in his business. Long story short, a few days later, I go to the park. I see the mother sitting there. She kind of has an attitude, but not so much. But she does come to me and say, well, you know, her father told me what happened. And I don't know how to feel about it, but that is her father. And I simply said uh, two things to her. He had every right to defend himself, okay? That's number one. But by me doing what I did, your daughter was safe and I slept well that night. And sometimes it's just that simple. Making sure that the child was safe and that you slept well at night. If something really, really bothers you down to your core or bothered you down to your soul, you would have said something. I said something and I got cussed out for filth. Did it bother me? No. Did I go back off on him? No, because I knew what I was doing. There was a chance of it. But I felt good when I left there. I didn't care. I was like, okay, well, that's her daddy. She just having a, you know, a time. She's just acting out. But I was even, uh, able to sleep really well that night and not have to worry about, was there an Amber Alert? Now, I say you that worry, right? You didn't say anything, but you still decided to post it. Once again, it's all about content. Because after you made the community post and everybody was going off on you talking about, well, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you at least walk up to the cashier? I mean, you could have walked up to the cashier. Hey, I just want y'all to know, I, I saw, you know, some things being a little funny outside there. Don't know exactly what was going on, but today may be a day that y'all might want to keep them cameras a rolling, okay? You could have said something to them. You didn't, you were at a public place. You didn't have to say something directly to that person, right? But you said nothing, but you posted it. You posted it because you wanted to have something to talk about. Then once you realized you were getting some traction from that post, right? Because we don't get paid for community posts. Let me keep that all the way real. That's just the way to advertise your channel and bring people over and make people aware of what you have going on in your channel. You make no money off of it. But once she's seen the comments, once she's seen how people were interested, then this morning she turns it into a short. She turns it into a short of the guy and the girl walking. Now, there's one of two things. You didn't say anything. You post about it to make money. That makes you a fool and that makes you low down. If you supposedly, right, all these stories that you're saying that happened to you when you were a child and you know what is a, a like to be uh, abused, neglected, whatever the case may be. If you see another child being that way, then why would you not want to be a spokesman for that person? Why wouldn't you want to stand up? Why wouldn't you want to say something? But no, you want to post it on YouTube just like you want to post your story and it just be all over the place. Okay. Also, say for instance, now we got to play it both ways. Say for instance, it's a lie, right? Say, for instance, this is something she just wanted for content. And now you have this man and this little girl out here on the Internet and they're being accused of all different kinds of things. And I'm hoping that if that's the case or whichever case it is, that the parent of this child happens to just look at this hot mess and get on your tail for it. Either way that it go is sloppy. If it was something that you felt that it was just bothering you inside and you didn't say anything like I tell everybody. 
Sometimes we record things for our safety. Sometimes we record things we can't believe. Sometimes we report things just because it's for record. But that don't mean it's always got to be posted. It could be saved in your phone. You could put it in a file. You could do whatever. And if the time comes that you need it, then you can retrieve it. It doesn't always have to be posted, published, or, you know, shown. But that's the way that Peach does it. I wanted to get out here because everybody's been, you know, talking about it and coming through the comments. So I wanted to let y'all know what I thought of it. I think it's total foolery. And that's just that. I will see you guys in the comments.